6 Ways Mid-Century Modern Furniture Can Liven Up Your Modern Decor For anyone who may not be familiar with the term, the mid-century modern movement is so named because it happened to take place during the middle of the 20th century, roughly between the early 30s and the mid-60s, though of course for much of that time it was simply known as modern design. It gained the mid-century moniker sometime in the mid-50s and has more or less kept it ever since. The style that the descriptor is used to define specialized in pieces of furniture that were more organic in shape and form while still remaining very minimal in nature due to the lack of ornate details when compared to pieces from still older eras. As a design trend, mid-century modern was rooted in the growth and development of the American middle class during these decades, as architectural design began to focus on urban development with furniture design intended to meet the needs of the new homeowners of the times. And while those times have certainly changed, the mid-century period produced several furniture designs that are still considered classics, many of which can still fit well into a modern space. In addition to the sharp corners and squared-off lines seen in many of the furniture pieces we have in a lot of modern interiors today, many spaces featuring a modern design aesthetic also display a distinct lack of color in their environments. Neutral palettes rule the modern room, from the ever-classic black and white to various shades of gray, brown and beige. And while these palettes can be incredibly soothing when mixed with the right design choices, this often leads to a space with that can feel cold or sterile to some. So when you realize that that's what has happened in your room, that's the time to look to your mid-century modern pieces to bring in the heat. Even when designing the most modern of interiors, don't be afraid to build the room around a pink sofa. In this room, we have another great example of what a colorful mid-century piece can do for a neutral heavy, modern color palette. With beige making the largest statements on the floor and walls, and warm wood tones connecting the wall trim and coffee table, this amazing shade of green has the perfect backdrop against which to really shine, while bringing together the similar shades of both the indoor plant and outdoor trees to help make the area around the space as much a part of the deer as the area within it. Color and mid-century modern design have gone hand-in-hand hand since the earliest days of the period when designers like Alexander Girard, Ray and Charles Eames, and Aero Saarinen were the arbiters of interior style and the architects of the mid-century era. Color can feel like a big commitment, especially in places where it's time and or budget consuming to change it or on pieces of furniture that you expect to keep for a significant amount of time. That's why when we're planning out an interior space many of us often find ourselves shying away from the blue sofa or the pink chair, to say nothing of the colorful walls. But even though the commitment can be intimidating, the fact of the matter is that when the space that we're designing is intended to have minimal design elements and simple furniture pieces, the color becomes more important than ever. When selecting a bright color sofa for your room that will still give you a modern look, plan to select accessories with a more neutral color palette to keep it simple instead of becoming something more boho. Bring in colors like white and shades of gray paired with materials like marble and solid walnut so that the showstopper remains the colorful sofa and everything else simply accentuates it. Even if you do want to go the generally safer route by sticking with a gray or cream colored sofa, the lines of most mid-century furniture pieces will make a huge impact on your space. If you're not ready to fully commit to adding in a ton of mid-century elements to your room, that's totally understandable. After all, at a certain point, it will stop being a modern room and become a mid-century space. So instead of filling the space with mid-century style, select one furniture piece to act as the show stopper in the room. We've seen the iconic Eames lounge chair used over and over again in modern interiors, not only because it is typically seen as a timeless classic that is always in style, but because it is perfectly suited for the role of being the mid-century eye-catcher in an otherwise completely modern room. Finally, if you know that you plan to keep your furniture all modern, but are still looking for a way to soften the look of the space to dye it just a little added livability, another route to think about is to focus on some of the larger accessories like lighting and rugs to be the ones that carry your mid-century flair. Lighting like the Cedo lamps works effortlessly into a modern interior. They add a touch of something special to a modern design scheme with their metallic color palette and texture in the lighting. So no matter what modern interior you're working with you can always use a few little mid-century accents to spruce it up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. 
and please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.